That was a major technical <laughs> difficulty. I totally just locked my phone while I was trying to do this. So we are going to wait just a second, let a couple people hop on. I've got some epoxy to mix up over here on the side. That way we can use that mold right there, that giant, giant earring mold. Hi y'all. When you hop on, tell me hi so I know who's here. I forgot to mention in my last live that we named our chicken. Um, she's the color of macaroni. Hi, Terry. Uh, hi, Tammy. She's the color of macaroni, and given the current situation that we're dealing with, uh, we thought Rona was pretty appropriate. Somebody suggested it, and um, a couple of people on my Facebook friends list uh, also suggested it, and it's just so perfect. So... I'm going to set this epoxy aside now that we've got a handful of people on here. So, I have been following this. Hi, Rose. I've been following this new uh, glitter company called Simple Beginnings. Hi, Allie. <clears throat> um, she's fairly new, just maybe a couple months old. And she had a naming contest the other day. I say the other day, and that means any day that's not today or tomorrow. Um, just FYI. So anyway, she had this little contest of naming her glitters. Um, she decided to go with friends references. And that's pretty good because that's a lot of history that you can pick from. So anyways, I got my, uh, I actually won one. And this is what I got. The label says Janice, but on the website it's actually Broken Front Porch Swing. I double checked that before I, I decided to do a live. Uh, look how cute that is. It's the multi-sized hex and lots of stars. Really pretty. And it's a non-holographic gold. I have a holographic gold from France called Pooh's Honey. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. You've seen me use it in a video probably. Um, but anyways, so that is that. So now for the good stuff. Ready to crack this bad boy open. I was prepared this time. I had scissors waiting in the wings. So I told y'all in the last live that I'm wanting to do a rainbow geode tumbler. And I've got some of the colors, but I've been on the hunt for the other colors. So I'm hoping that this will do it. I had ordered another color from... Oh, <laughs> The seal on that one didn't quite catch. That's okay. The seal's right there. I'll have to dig that out of there. It looks like it's a little bit translucent. But um, it's really pretty. I think it'll go really well with the yellow. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to make a mess today. I think it'll go really well with this yellow. I'll show you all the colors that I have in my head in just a second. But uh, that's really pretty. It's got a couple of different sizes on it. It's kind of translucent, so I may have to put a base color underneath that one. I was hoping that it would be a more solid. I'll probably have to keep my eyes out for that. It's pretty, though. Next one is... Oh, these don't have labels on. That one has a label. This one doesn't have a label. This one is called... Um, in writing, it looks like the name is Wamoa, but after I looked it up, it's Wemawit, like the song. So I had to look up the reference of that because it, it seemed familiar, but it didn't seem entirely explained in my head. So uh, Wemawit, like the song, like in the jungle, the mighty jungle. But I have been looking for a Kelly Green mix like this for a while. This doesn't have the bigger pieces in it like a lot of the other mixes do, but I think for what I want it for, it's perfect. Actually, I actually have a coworker that has glasses that color, so I may have to make her some earrings uh, here pretty soon. So there's that one. I'll have to label that one. And then one more. This one I'm pretty excited about. It's called Vegas. And it's all different shapes in there. Some stars, some hex. Okay, so not all different shapes. 
but stars and hex and very holographic. Uh, I think this is actually what I'm going to put in this. So it's really pretty. I like it. I don't think it'll work well with the smaller molds like uh, that where it's just that thin channel right there. I don't think it would work well for that because those stars are pretty big. You gotta focus. My focus needs focus. I'll oh, forget it. There we go. I guess that's as good as I can get it. It doesn't want to focus. Oh well. Uh, it's really pretty though. It's got the, um, what do they call that? Tinsel, I think. Little stars, big stars, hex, little hex, tinsel, and some super fine. That'd be a good full coverage. So that's all I have as far as the new stuff is those four colors. I'm pretty excited. So if you feel like hanging around, I'm just going to mix some up. I'm just popping some bubbles on my epoxy here. Um, if you feel like hanging around, I'm going to mix this just a little bit longer and um, make some earrings. I'm actually, instead of doing those earrings, I really, really, really like this old hotel key mold. I've done a couple of them now. It's just super cute. Just enough retro. Not everybody will get the reference, but I would say anyone born before 1990 might get the idea, like understand what that shape is. I'm not sure when the whole key card. <laughs> Allie, um, I posted a link. She doesn't have like a rewards point system or anything yet, but she does have a 10% off your first order code. I've got the link and that discount code both listed in the description already. I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually figured out how to do all of that ahead of time, which is basically just me putting it in notes and copy and pasting. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but clearly was above my uh, mental capacity before. So I don't want that in there yet. You know what? I actually have these earrings that I poured the other day, and they are not quite full enough. So I'm going to top them off real quick before we do anything, and then let those bubbles. Hi, Chris. I think that's your name. Please tell me if I'm calling you the wrong name. I know your name isn't Desert Pours. I did learn that the other day. So I'm just topping this off. These are going to be for my mom. I'm going to make both the moms and both the grandmas some earrings for Mother's Day. I don't know what else I'm going to put in there, but since we can't exactly go see them this year. Hi, Liberty and Jax. If you want to tell me what your name is, I'll try and remember it and not call you Liberty and Jax. Because <laughs> I'm sure that's not your name. All right, so I'm just smoothing that out right there. Oh, hi, Jackie. I, I think I can probably remember that. <laughs> Yay, Chris. I'm glad I remembered. All right. So I have this. It is super bubbly. Hi, Leanne. But that's okay because for what we're using it for, it's not really going to be that noticeable. Um, Jax is a good name for Jackie. Uh, so I'm going to worry about those air bubbles some other time, like after they've risen to the top of the mold and everything. So let's or some. I missed. I'm taking a break from, this actually might be enough to do the keychain mold and possibly the earring molds as well. We'll see. Taking a break from sewing. Um, one of my friends decided that her and her friends all needed a bunch of masks, so working on 20 masks for one person. I've already made probably 60. I'm sure some of y'all are like, ha, chump change. I've done hundreds, which is awesome. I love it. Um, but I got to mail them and I really need. Uh, Leanne, this is a new one. It's called Simple Beginnings. I've been following her since uh, kind of early on on Facebook. 
she did tumblers and then decided to branch out into um um, Chris, I don't know if you can do that. I haven't tried it before. I know people do that whenever they do micas and stuff, so I can't imagine why it would be too big of a problem. Um, but anyways, I'm taking a break from that. I've done like 60 so far. I commented on a post for someone looking for two masks the other day that I could help. Well, that turned into like six orders, and uh, I'm just kind of overwhelmed right this minute. All right. So I'm going to show you all the colors I plan on using for the, uh, Jackie says you can add glitter to the epoxy, but it won't cover well. That makes total sense, but I could see it being helpful on like a Milky Way or something. If you were trying to do a very, um, singled out area. All right. So I've got Vegas in here. It's kind of weird angle for me. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Um, I'm going to get a better tripod. This one's just so weird. It's like, I don't feel like it's very um, solid. I feel like every time I barely bump anything, it just shakes the whole thing. All right, just a teensy bit more. So, hi, Kristen. If y'all have not done molds, <laughs> hi, Sarah. Um, otherwise, they make that weird meniscus. Let me see if I have one candy to show y'all. Yeah, I've got one right here. Let's see if it'll focus. So see how there's a, a weird lip? Uh, it's not wanting to focus, but you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Right there. See that weird lip? Um, filling it not quite full enough is what will give you those weird lips, and they're rough. And some things that won't really matter, but other things that you're going to handle a lot, it's kind of uncomfortable to hold. Uh, so you want to fill it to just above full. I hope that makes sense. Because that whole meniscus effect, which Chris confirmed that I was calling it the right thing last video, um, makes it dip down, just like in science class. So I don't have enough to do that leftover epoxy in this mold. But I have the small one right there. I finally got smart and bought these uh, pre-cut parchment paper um, pieces. It's kind of convenient. <laughs> Meniscus. It's like the Pee Wee's Playhouse word of the day. Everybody goes crazy when we say that word. There's probably only a few people that know what I'm talking about because that's pretty old. So I don't know if I have enough of this. I only had 20 uh, milliliters mixed up. So I don't know if I have enough in here. Uh, Jackie, did you um, get a whole bunch of different molds or did you just get a couple uh, to start with? Because I'm addicted. I need to find a really good place to sell the keychains and the earrings and stuff that I'm making. Maddie says that that was recently a Jeopardy question. Meniscus was. That makes me feel just slightly smart. Not Ken Jennings smart, because that fool's ridiculously smart, but <laughs> at least smarter than my day-to-day -day self. Y'all probably hear my schnauzer walking around out here. Uh, he's in my she shed with me. The ducks like to torment him, and so when we come out here, he hauls Heine out here to the shed if it looks like I'm headed this way. Oh yeah, Kristen, I love all these earring molds too. I can't wait to use them all. So that is, um, yeah, okay, tw 20 from three or four places is good because there's, um, <laughs> three or four places is good because then you have a variety because they all sell something different. And Maddie, I'm glad that I could help you with that random bit of trivia. <laughs> It probably won't help you anywhere else in life except for um, sitting on the couch watching Jeopardy. Yeah, most of my molds do come from that. I think it's Alemano or something. I don't know how to say it. So, y'all have seen this probably. This is where I like to pour all my extra stuff. So, I'm just going to dump this right in here. Instead of it going to waste, it's too 
these are too full. I'm actually probably going to have to scoop out a little bit. But um, I love this little guy. He's so cute. He's a big guy, actually. The um, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry that you guys are finding stuff that you can't live without. I'm, it's all my fault. I don't make commission when you guys do uh, order stuff. I just like to show off the stuff I get that I like. If I don't like the service I got from a company, it won't be mentioned in a video for sure. Okay, so I've just got this kind of in there. Doesn't really matter how it ends up. I'm just lay it over here to the side. When it gets full enough, some of y'all have already seen this before, but I'm gonna show y'all the uh, cute little Lego man. It's completely useless. It doesn't serve a purpose, but look how cute that is. This one I topped off with that. I kind of, yes, my cousin tore her meniscus. Uh, and it's a uh, very painful recovery from what I've heard. But this guy I just topped off. I don't know where my other one is. I think I took it to the store I used to have. And it's possible that it walked off because I haven't seen it in quite some time. But I'm... Um, Anyway, so that's what this thing is here. Is that guy there? You can kind of see how tall he is compared to the glitter shaker. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's in the way. Not quite as tall as a glitter shaker. So what's that? Like four or five inches, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and blast these with the uh, lighter really quickly. Um, this has become my best friend on popping bubbles here. I was hitting them with my heat gun and I'm pretty sure that's what caused this to ruin. This is what happens whenever they get dried out, it gets all crackly and then like that broke off. I already have another one of these, but just to show you, uh, heat can be really bad on these silicone molds. Uh, but I don't feel like the lighter is really doing anything. <laughs> Apparently at some point I stuck my lighter a little too close to the epoxy because it's all over the end there. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of blast it here. And I think one of these days I'm gonna do a slow motion bubble popping video like Chris suggested, because it's very uh, satisfying. Uh, Terry, I have heard about doing alcohol as well. I have not tried that. I had a little mister. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm just popping those. Um, just a little bit, not super blasting it. And then in a little while, I'm going to let this kind of continue to um, settle. You can see that some of these are floating on top here. So in a little while, I'll go through and kind of swirl that around like this, just enough to kind of get those floaters down, but not so much that it makes it um, weird and lumpy. I don't want to scrape the uh, mold either. Yeah, I've heard about the um, alcohol misting, but I have not tried it. I've been meaning to, I just, I get out here and it just, my brain goes, my brain goes elsewhere. So if you guys have a Target close by, from what I understand, a lot of Targets put that stuff out overnight or early morning. And that's how my coworker was able to find us some alcohol for the office. Okay, so I added epoxy to these earlier. I need to pop these bubbles. There we go. Y'all can see these bubbles popping. It's so satisfying. Ta-da. $17 for a bottle of alcohol? Holy moly. That's painful. 
Man, okay. I, I can't wait for all of this to be over. I'm over it. We um, have been working a very restricted schedule. I work for an optometrist, like a lot of y'all know all that. And um, we've been very limited scheduling, literally shipping people their contacts straight to their door so that we don't have them in our office. And it's just, no, I don't like it. I'm over it. All right, so that's actually everything I have to show y'all. I got the four new colors. Uh, I'll give you a recap. I'm sorry, I'm adjusting this. I, like I said, I'm going to get a new tripod. I'm just not there yet because I keep getting sidetracked. I get to look in on Amazon and then uh, squirrel. So one more time, Vegas, that's the one I just used here. Big stars uh, with the cutouts, little stars, which look like they're the inside pieces. Hex, big, small, tinsel, and a super fine. It's incredibly holographic really pretty. I cannot wait to see that in person or in after it's cured. And then this is slightly translucent. I'm going to have to put this under epoxy to see if it's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, squirrel. I have so many squirrels in my brain right now. It's actually a running joke. My grandpa hated squirrels so bad, but he painted one and it hangs in the office. He's our, our constant squirrel. So anyways, I'm going to put this under epoxy to see if that's exactly what I'm looking for or not. Uh, that one's called Tag. I don't know exactly the reference for that one for friends. Um, during my last margarita session, I asked and I was told that that was Rachel's boyfriend or something. But I don't know the reference as far as it being orange. Like, I don't know why it's orange. And then the last one is this one. Uh, on the website, it's, uh, it looks like it says Wamoa. Like, I read it as, like, Jason Momoa, but Wamoa. But uh, it's actually Wemawit, like the song. Uh, that's, like, Marcel's favorite song or something. So, anyway, so that's that. And then the final one is this one. So, if you get on the site at some other time... This is not what it is on the website. It's this, Broken Porch Swing, um, which is a Monica reference, I'm pr pretty sure. And it has the hex and real pretty little stars. Several sizes of hex, fine, and stars. Just one size of stars that I can see. Really pretty. I like it. I'm not disappointed in my colors at all. I, I'm really hoping that this one is more. Yeah, so Jackie, do you know the reference of why it might be orange? That might just be a color that she just threw on there to use that, but I don't know if there's like an orange reference or not. Who knows? It may be completely unrelated. I haven't quite figured it out yet because I'm not hardcore. I wish I was hardcore. Um, but... That's all I have to show you. If anyone's interested, I'll give you all the rundown of the pastels. If anybody didn't see that video yet, just let me know if you want to see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I'm sorry, literally squirrels running through my brain. Uh, Heather, I get most of my parts just from, I prefer Hobby Lobby. I feel like the ones I get from Joann's, I don't have any handy. Um, the ones I get from Joann's, I don't feel like they're very good. Like, the quality feels really, really cheap. I don't like it. Um, I did get some black hardware from Joann's. And, uh, Heather, I would love to know what colors you got. Um, but the hardware I got from Joann's, because I needed black to go with some of those darker colors that I was using. And they were just... I could feel the difference. I didn't like it at all. So, I... Uh, Heather, if you want to, um, you can't post a picture here, but if you want to post it on the newbie Tumblr and support group, it's just a Facebook group that I started for us um, to troubleshoot our problems. <laughs> the dog is sniffing the door because he knows that the ducks are right outside. It's really funny. I told y'all I would show you the colors I want to use for the... Um, 
rainbow geode. I gotta go let that dog outside. Y'all give me just a second. He's driving me crazy. So we're probably going to see the, uh, we're gonna hear the ducks in a minute. So the colors I'm going to use um, for the rainbow geode are coming up. And I'm really excited for y'all to tell me what colors you got. Um, the link, I think I put that in the community tab. Um, <laughs> you can hear the ducks chasing him now. Um, the link to the group, I don't think I was able to post a link to it, but go to Facebook and search newbie tumbler support and tutorials, I think is exactly what it's called. Um, Sometimes it takes me a minute to get approvals because I don't see the notifications for some reason. So, Rainbow Geode. I've been wanting to do one in Chunky for a long, long time. I'm, I'm not certain this is the color I want. We're going to find out when I put it in epoxy. So, this is... Yeah, I don't know the orange thing or not. Um, my boss and one of the coworkers, they're really hardcore and they knew uh, that it was a boyfriend name. Uh, Amanda, this, this is from Glitter Craze here. This one and this one are from Simple Beginnings. I forgot that one doesn't have a name. Um, Simple Beginnings, they're pretty new. And then the rest of everything I have out is from Franz. I just love her stuff so much. Um, so this is going to be my lineup here whenever I do that. I really hope that's dark enough or solid enough. I think this one will be Rainbow 5 from Friends. So there's another uh, yellow chunky. I think I have it right here. This one is somewhat um, translucent under epoxy. It's really pretty if you need a neon. I think it would be great as a chunky for um like baseball hi katina um the facebook group newbie tumblr tutorials and support i'm almost certain that that's exactly how it's worded <laughs> i'm a little slow sometimes i'll put that in the link i'll put that in the description too in a little bit uh, but we'll do that and then blue jean night it's non-holographic from glitter craze Okay, so Heather, the pink one doesn't have a name yet. This one right here in your box does not have a name yet. I haven't seen her post it yet. She posted a naming game um, a couple weeks ago, but I, she's been making a lot of masks and working on a restock for her website. I know all this because she posts updates of um, what's going on on her page. Uh, so that's my lineup for what I'm going to do here. That one doesn't have a label, but I can label, label it myself. Um, yeah, I can't wait to do that. I started one the other day, and it was a horrific fail. Not happy with it at all. Um, also, sometime soon, I'll be finishing up the cowhide tumbler. Yes, the yellow is um, part of that collection. I think she might be out of stock. I feel like I saw someone post this morning that they were asking about that. I've got this in the works, but I can't wait to um, finish up. I kind of ruined it a little bit, but I think I can cover that up with glitter. I'm going to do State Fair on there. Something a little more understated as far as not being neon and bright and obnoxious. That's in the works sometime soon. I've got the first couple of steps of this tutorial posted. Um, I made that group findable or searchable or whatever the word is. I, I don't know why it won't pull up, but newbie, N-E-W-B-I-E, support, Tumblr support, some... I think that's what it's called. Uh, Heather, I have to build a new four-way turner because mine completely um, pooped out on me. It's really sad. The motor's good, but the support ended up uh, 
somehow getting stretched or something. I think I just had too much weight on it for too long. I don't know. So anyways, that's all I have to show y'all. I got to get off of here and get back to my sewing machine. So new colors. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, Heather, I think I'm going to uh, just let someone else make it because I really don't have time right now. So that's good. 90 bucks is reasonable, especially with a motor and everything. <clears throat> so y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Oh, yeah, you found it. That's fantastic. Y'all give me some time to um, do that, and I'll, I'll go get those approvals done. Uh, Heather, I get most of my cups from Stainless Steel Depot. I don't think there's a new order, customer order number from there. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Uh, you're welcome, Maddie. I'm glad you were able to join us. And um, you guys go join that group. I want it to be a place for us to share um, ideas. Like, please don't post if you don't plan on sharing how you did something. I, I don't want it to be that kind of group. I want it to be supportive and like helping each other figure out what's the problem. Uh, Heather, I haven't done anything on acrylic. Have y'all seen those tumbler, uh, those um, cup tissery things that are like 20 tumblers? It's like a big old wheel of fortune. It looks like something you would uh, strap somebody to and throw knives at. It's so big. Looks like something from the um, carnival or something. I'm going to stir these really quickly while I'm sitting here thinking about it. Just a little bit. I'm going to zoom in and show y'all what I'm talking about here where that's floating. See that? Uh, just kind of floating on top. Oh, dang. That was loud. Just kind of swirly. You can tell it's thicker. It takes a little bit to lay down. I'll have less chances of a whole bunch of floaters on top at that point. Most of the time I feel like it like pools in the middle or something. It's really weird. Uh, Heather, I really, um, sometimes I'll do a, a live where it's like start to finish of a cup or something. This was, I just wanted to share with y'all the new colors I got in because I was so excited. I ordered them on Thursday and I got them today. So that's really good. I want to make dog bowls too. That's on my to-do list someday. So, anyways, um, that is it. Hopefully, y'all got some good info. Probably not. Um, <laughs> it's one of those days for me. So, newbie, Tumblr, tutorials, and support. I'm almost positive that that's the exact wording. Oh, Maddie, I see what you're saying. Um... So I've not done epoxy on acrylic. I have done 651 on acrylic. I've heard mixed things. Thank you, Jackie, uh, for posting that exact wording. Because <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> I tried taking ADD medicine once. It didn't really work out for me. Um, So this is not a start to finish on a project. But I have done a couple of videos where I did beginning to end mixing the epoxy glitter and then pouring it into the molds and then there's a follow-up video later that I did where I was just talking to y'all and putting all the hardware on uh, so that's in the list of videos somewhere probably six or seven down the list maybe so that is it I mean at this time you guys have a great rest of your great rest of your weekend and stay healthy stay away from cooties it's crazy um maddie if you will use 651 vinyl you do not have to cover it with uh, epoxy or resin or anything it won't keep you from breaking your cup because on my cruise i had a few too many long island iced teas and i broke my own cup i just cracked it and i cracked one of my co-workers cup because i kept dropping them it was funny, but I have to make her a new one now. But 651, and you won't have to epoxy over it. So look into that, and you'll find some good information there. So you guys stay healthy. Stay out of the cooties. I hope everything...
blows over so fast. I'm over it. I want normal life again. So y'all have a good one. If you have any questions, be sure and join the group and post your questions there. If you need to, you can post questions on the comments here. If you like my videos too, can you give them a thumbs up? That will help. Um, Heather, I don't, I don't know what to answer on that. As far as the acrylic tumblers, I use, um, Envirotex light from Michaels for my own stuff. I use it for my molds and my cups because it works for me for my weather and all that good stuff. So y'all have a good one. Stay healthy.